Hi guys, it's Sarah Todd. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so excited for today's video because I'm going to be telling you all about adaptive clothing. If you're not aware, adaptive clothing is clothing that is made for people with disabilities who have trouble getting dressed. Oftentimes, people with disabilities like myself have trouble getting dressed because we're unable to do buttons and zippers. This means that getting dressed is often the hardest part of our day because we wake up and we immediately have to struggle with putting clothing on. But adaptive clothing solves that problem. For those of you who don't know, I became paralyzed from the neck down when I was eight years old. I made a video sharing my story all about how that happened, which I will put up at the top for you guys. But even though I have made a substantial recovery, I still have partial paralysis in my shoulders, arms, and right hand, and I can't move my left hand at all. So that's why doing buttons and zippers is literally impossible for me. Now you might not have heard of adaptive clothing before, and that's because it's not seen everywhere. There are a few big name brands that do carry the adaptive clothing, but it is not as widespread as it should be. And that is because there are some misconceptions regarding people with disabilities. So let's go ahead and debunk those misconceptions. <laughs> Adaptive clothing is not as widespread as it should be because a lot of people think that there are not that many people with disabilities who would actually need it. And this is not true because people with disabilities are in fact the largest minority in the world. There are about 1 billion people in the world who have some kind of disability and a lot of people with disabilities would really benefit from having adaptive clothing. There would also be more of a market for adaptive clothing with able-bodied people because magnets are helpful for everyone. So there really is a large market for adaptive clothing even though a lot of people think that there isn't because there are in fact a lot of people with disabilities in the world and many of us would need adaptive clothing. And then there are able-bodied people who would just prefer to have adaptive clothing because they wouldn't want to have to deal with the buttons and the zippers. Another misconception is that people with disabilities don't care how we look. And this is not true. People with disabilities love to be fashionable and look good just like everyone else. And we want to keep up with the latest trends and feel good about what we're wearing. So adaptive clothing would help us to accomplish that. And finally, the last misconception is that people with disabilities don't really need to look cute and wear adaptive clothing because we are never leaving the house and we're not really doing anything. And that's not true at all. People with disabilities are perfectly capable of living happy, productive lives, just like able-bodied people. And many of us do leave our houses, we do go to school, we do have jobs, and we want to look good while we're taking part in those activities in our lives. So the idea that we don't leave our houses or we don't have anything to do with our lives is just crazy. I first heard about the adaptive clothing trend when it started a few years ago thanks to a foundation that I'm involved with called the Runway of Dreams Foundation. This foundation was started by a lovely woman that I now know named Mindy Shire whose son has a disability and he needed help getting dressed and he wanted to wear jeans to school like his friends but he couldn't because he couldn't do the button and zipper on them. Mindy's son's struggle with getting dressed prompted her to start the foundation and she has been able to get some big name brands on the adaptive clothing trend which is super amazing. Her foundation puts on a runway show during New York Fashion Week every year and I had the amazing opportunity to be one of the models in that show in New York last year and it was incredible. I modeled Kohl's Adaptive and it was just so empowering to have everyone cheering for me and recognizing that people with disabilities are a group that needs to be represented in the fashion industry and needs to be thought of when clothing is being produced. Adaptive clothing has some super cool features like magnets and Velcro in place of buttons and zippers, which makes getting dressed so much easier. These features have been so helpful for me because often when I'm at stores and I'm trying to find clothing that I like, I have to put the clothing back because I notice it has a button or a zipper on it and I know I'll need help with it and I'll never want to wear it because I don't like being dependent on other people. So with the help of adaptive clothing, I'm able to be more independent and get dressed by myself without any help and that's been so extraordinary for me because I am a lover of fashion and I really do love dressing cute and feeling pretty in my clothing so being able to wear clothing that is functional but also really cute is extraordinary 
People don't realize the impact that wearing a cute outfit that you love can have on your mood. And if you aren't able to be independent and get dressed in an outfit that you love by yourself and feel good about yourself, then your mood is going to be damaged. And a lot of people with disabilities like myself have had to endure that feeling because there are just not enough clothing options out there for us. <laughs> tell you about some of the features adaptive clothing has that makes it so special. The magnets and the velcro are the most common features that really seem to help the most people, but there are other features that a lot of people use as well. For example, if you are someone who has to wear a leg brace, it will be harder for you to put on pants. So some pieces of adaptive clothing have velcro or magnet openings at the bottom of pant legs so that the leg brace will fit. There are also some tops and pants made with the sleeve or the pant leg cut off or cut shorter so that amputees don't have to wear a dangling sleeve or pant leg. There are even features in adaptive clothing that involve softer seams and no tags for people who have sensory issues or just don't like how the tags and the seams feel and I think that's really creative too. Right now, I'm actually wearing a Tommy Hilfiger adaptive top. Tommy Hilfiger was actually the first brand that got on board and started making adaptive clothing. And their clothing is so cute, which is one of the great things about it. It's not just simply a plain white top with magnets instead of buttons. So it is made with people with disabilities in mind, but also looking fashionable in mind. This top has magnets instead of buttons and zippers, so it's really easy for me to put on. And I think it's super cute. It's really trendy and just kind of a fun style. And so I really love this top and it makes me feel confident and good while I'm wearing it. All I have to do to put the top on is pull the magnets that are at the shoulders back and then they easily snap back closed once I have it on. So it's really easy to get dressed. I also have a pair of shorts from Tommy Hilfiger and these are wonderful because shorts have really been the hardest article of clothing for me to find without any buttons or zippers. So having the shorts that don't have a button and a zipper but have magnets and velcro instead is so much better and just really makes my life a lot easier. I also am a huge fan of dresses, so I have so many dresses from Tommy Hilfiger. My favorite one is this striped dress. It's very out there, but I love being a little crazy with my fashion. I think the colors are just so pretty. I love having the Velcro on the shoulders of this dress because it's so easy for me to put on. And this dress is a really one of my favorites. Whenever I wear it, I feel so confident and I get so many compliments on it. So I love wearing this dress and it really is just a typical Tommy Hilfiger look, which I really like. My other favorite Tommy Hilfiger adaptive dress that I have is this really cute pink and gray dress. This dress has magnets on the shoulders, which again makes it so much easier for me to put on and take off. They also close really easily, so once I have it on, it's easy for me to just let go of them and they'll snap closed just like that. I wore this Tommy Hilfiger adaptive dress when I went on a cruise because I felt like it was very nautical and kind of like a sailor dress and I really love this one. This one has magnets in the back instead of a zipper and I think that's so cool because zippers in the back are hard for like anyone to do because we can't easily reach our back no matter if we have a disability or not. So the magnet feature is great for just anyone who doesn't want to have to deal with a zipper. And lastly, I have this really cute blue denim casual Tommy Hilfiger adaptive dress. I love this one because it's really comfy and summery and this dress has magnets on it as well. The magnets are also on the back with this one so I don't have to deal with the zipper when putting it on or taking it off and I love that so much. All of these dresses just make me feel really cute and confident and I love the cool features. I think anybody even without a disability would really like some of these features because honestly buttons are so outdated. Buttons have been used on clothes for a long time and it's time that we have a new feature on clothing that is easier for everyone no matter if they have a disability or not, like magnets and velcro instead of buttons. <laughs>
because seriously, no one likes doing buttons. They're a pain. They're hard for little kids too. Little kids often struggle to do the buttons on their clothing. So magnets would be easier for them as well. So I really believe that we should just make the change and put magnets and Velcro instead of buttons on as many clothing items as we can because no one likes buttons and they're just really not functional at all. So those were all of the Tommy Hilfiger adaptive outfits that I have. There are some other brands that do make adaptive clothing. Kohl's has just come out with their adaptive brand. As I mentioned, I modeled Kohl's adaptive in the runway show last year, which was really amazing because no one had ever modeled Kohl's in a runway show before. So it was really neat to be one of the first people to model Kohl's Adaptive. Target's Cat and Jack brand also has some adaptive clothing. Zappos Adaptive is a big one too. They make so many different kinds of adaptive clothing. So it's really amazing that all of these brands are making adaptive clothing because that's a lot of big names out there who are catering to people with disabilities, which is incredible. It's awesome that brands are starting to recognize that people with disabilities do want to look cute. We want to wear clothes that are fashionable and fun and trendy but we just need a few changes to be made to them for us and having those changes on the clothing would really just help everyone in the world because like I said no one likes buttons. I really hope that more brands do the same because really it can only help them because people with disabilities are a very large market contrary to most people's belief and more people might buy from these brands if they know that they are being inclusive of people with disabilities because that would let people know that the brand is accepting and wants to make sure that every person is included and able to purchase items from their brand. Making adaptive clothing and normalizing people with disabilities caring about how we look and what we wear is a great step towards the inclusion and acceptance of people with disabilities. And all of these big companies making adaptive clothing really does give me hope that more and more will keep doing it. And I hope that that continues to happen because the adaptive clothing trend really is a great trend and so many people can benefit from it. So it really is great that it is becoming more popular. I will leave links to all of the adaptive clothing that I mentioned in this video in the description box below so that you can get your own adaptive clothing. And I really hope that this helps you guys because I know there are so many people out there who really can benefit from this adaptive clothing. So if this video helped you guys, please let me know because that would make me so happy. And be sure to check out the Runway of Dreams Foundation. They are a great foundation and I am so pleased to be a part of their organization. So be sure to check them out. I will leave a link to their website in the description box below as well. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And remember to hit that notification bell so you never miss a video of mine. I post new videos every Tuesday at 3 p.m. Eastern, and I hope to see you at the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!